Hey you guys, Randall here again. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. So we're back on the X10 Press for the pilot program. So today we're going to talk about the uh, bearings that are splitting uh, that ride on a cam for your indexing. Frankfurt Arsenal has been working diligently and they have been listening to everybody and they are redesigning some parts, trying to work through some of these bugs for everybody. Frankfurt Arsenal definitely appreciates everybody's time and effort that they're putting into the pilot program. So from them, thank you. So today we're going to show you how to replace that cam and they also sent a new arm with your cam. Some of you have received them, some of you will be getting them soon. So we're going to show you the proper way to put it in. It's not that bad. So let's go ahead and get to it guys. Knock it out. Okay, so we have already removed all of the side plates. That's the first step that you're going to want to do. You will need access through all of the holes. I tried to set this up to where we can use tools that most of you should have in your uh, reloading area already. Those will be listed for you in the video. Everything is pretty much set up. Again, we've already got the uh, sides removed. Okay, so first thing that you need to do, you will need a Sharpie, your new cam. What I want you to see, the, the fattest part of this cam lobe how it corresponds to this flat spot on the back side. It's off center to it a little bit. What I want you to do, I want you to make an arrow right there so we know where that index is for that flat spot. Okay, next up, you were wondering what the blue tape was for. Take a small piece of tape I want you to put it on the uh, arm that you're going to be replacing so that you don't mix it up with your new part. Next up, five millimeter hex. If you have the ones with the balls, it works much better. Move this out of the way. Like to take your bottom bolt out. And notice I'm doing this with the uh, tool head in the up position. Just remove the whole thing. Easy peasy. Mind that washer because you're going to need that washer later. Put it in a spot you won't lose it. Same with that pivot bolt. This is going away. Next up, I need an eight millimeter hex. going to break the uh, cam bolt loose and remove the cam bolt. Notice the blue Loctite. One of the things that's on your list is blue Loctite. All right, now here is where some of you might hit the lotto. Some of these are loose enough that if you just take some of the pressure off, voila. So again, pay attention. You got a rounded part and then the flat part. You see how they're off-centered? That correlates inside. So if you're lucky enough to get to this point, 
more power to you. It's a little bit more complicated if it doesn't just slide out. Okay, so next, five millimeter hex. Remove your bolt or handle. Go ahead and remove your handle. And at this point, you want to leave the press with the tool head lowered. Back to your 8 millimeter. Remove that bolt. 5 millimeter. Remove that bolt. This should let everything free float now. This is your time to shine. And I'm going to tell you why. Make sure that this slides nice and freely. And if not, this is your time to do something with it. These four cap head screws, never over tighten those. If you do, that's what puts the proper tension on the bearings and everything that this thing rides on. And it will make your press very, very stiff and screw with your priming and your swaging. So if it's too stiff, adjust them out slightly until everything moves good. Do all four corners has nothing to do with the cam replacement, but it does help with the operation of your press. So now, you don't need to remove this assembly, but you can see it gives it just enough to slide in and out, and it's going to release the rod inside. Okay. So now you can see the inside of the press. On one side you'll have a cam that you can see on the right moving, which is this. On the other side, on the left, there's the cam that we're going to be replacing. So if you were not lucky enough for it to come loose on its own, we're going to show you how. Okay, at this point, you'll need a three inch wide board. Raise the ram. Simply prop the board in there to hold it up. Turn your shaft, because it, if I can get that on camera, you'll notice that it pivots. You're going to want to turn that to a position that is just about centered with your press. Okay. You'll need a decently long flat screwdriver and a hammer. I have one. Bought it at Harbor Freight. Actually you can screw the ends on and off so I have a plastic one on one side which I like. Take your fingers Pull up that uh, cam lobe or uh, crankshaft lobe. Put the screwdriver through the center of the shaft. And at that point, you should be able to have it on a spot on the back of your uh, cam. And you can simply just take your hammer and tap it out. Bearing comes out with it, that's perfectly fine. Let's 
remove your screwdriver. Remove the wood block. Lower the ram. There we go. Okay, so at this point, you can see you got the rounded part at the bottom and it's flat at the top. It corresponds with your cam. So this is where I had you draw the arrow on the new one with the ram at the bottom of the stroke that allows this to be in the correct position with your arrow up so let's install that now okay you're going to want to use some sort of grease most any grease will work that you have laying around you're going to want to put some around the inside of that bearing Doesn't have to be an excessive amount, just make sure it's covered. Let's do the same on the cam where it slides through the bearing. Arrow up. Don't worry, it don't have to be exact because you'll be able to spin it in the bearing to center it after it's in. This is where I like the plastic head on my hammer. My new one definitely fit tighter than my old one. So that's in place. Okay, the two bolts that holds your cams on each side. Notice from the factory, blue Loctite. This is the time to install some blue Loctite. Okay. You want to do, as you're facing it, you want to do your left side first. So if your crankshaft here won't quite clear, Pull it forward, take your screwdriver and hammer, tap that cam back out just so slightly until it clears. Make sure that flat spot is up. There we go. Now you should be able to reach around with a little bit of effort. It's hard to do this and keep it to where you guys can see it on camera. Lower the tool head all the way. And there. You should be able to see that it's locked in. You can see the indentions up here where they lock together. Make sure they fall into place. Ram is still, or the tool head still at the bottom. You should have a little bit of slack and free play there. Go ahead and start your bolt on this side. You can wiggle your cam on the back until it starts. There we go. And at this point, 
go in till it stops and then just back it off a little bit that way it leaves it loose enough that the whole thing moves to start your other side okay you should be ready to snap in the other side again uh, your tool head at the bottom of the stroke you should be able to snap the two together get to where I can see it it's lined up there hard to see there you go barely you can see where the two went together All right, that was all the tough part. There's your bolt with the lock tight. Again, the other side is still loose, so you can be able to tighten this side up you know, to get it started. Gives you a little bit of wiggle room. There we go. You can go ahead and tighten this side. If need be, go ahead and run it until it goes all the way to the top. As far as your tool head, you already had your blue Loctite. Pour it back down, go around, tighten your other side. Done. go. Now we can free float. Put in your pivot bolt. Five millimeter hex. You're good to go. This side is finished. To save time on the video, you know, go ahead and put your side plates on and put your handle on. Home stretch. Your grease of choice. Put some grease on your cam. Your new arm. Notice the uh, recess there. Top of it is smooth on this side. It's got a cutaway on the other recess. That is the side that faces you as this goes together. On the bottom, on the back side, a little bit of grease around it. Your washer. Just hold your washer in place. Go ahead and slide the bolt through it. And at this point, you want your ram all the way at the top. Top in in first. millimeter hex and you are finished aside from um, putting your sides on and putting your handle on once all that is accomplished you're good to go but before you put your sides on do a cycle test
everything is working beautifully. I already know that I had my indexing perfect before we started this because I had set it previously uh, using my uh, alignment tool system through Bragg and Wright's Precision. We replaced that cam in the arm and it's indexing exactly where I left it. That's as perfectly concentric as you can get.